The thing I think that like we need to realize and recognize is that, you know, at the end of the year, we are transitioning out of a whole age and we are getting ready to transition into the age of Aquarius. And that's a big deal. And so it's almost like we're giving birth to this whole new era of humanity. And for those of you that are women that have given birth to children, you know childbirth is not comfortable. Huge transformation happens and occurs, but it takes work and it's difficult and it's hard and it's painful. And that's literally like what we're going through right now. We are moving into this incredible, incredible era of knowledge and science and breakthroughs in quantum physics. And this is because our big two, Jupiter and Saturn, they are moving from the, from where they just were, which was very heavily influenced on materialism, um, and mastering the resources, the physical resources and the matter of this plane. Like that's what we've been doing for the last 240 year cycle is, is attempting as humanity to master physical laws and matter here on earth. Um, but this redistribution of wealth is coming in this next 240 years. And we move more into collective and, and desiring to master human relationships. And, and, um, we we're moving very much back into this, into more of a tribal and community based energy. So, you know, Jupiter rules laws and Saturn rules governmental power. And so what we're seeing right now is these last ditch efforts to hold on to the old paradigm of laws and government power. Um, and so, you know, by December of 2020, the end of December, 2020, we're moving into the dawn of the age of Aquarius. And so now those old systems and structures, they're no longer going to work. And we felt it coming, but that's all the change we're experiencing. And so while it feels quite chaotic and it feels hectic and it feels overwhelming, there's actually going to be tremendous benefit on the other side of this, but we have to dismantle these old corrupt systems and structures. We have to take down this global financial system that is not serving humanity. But the beauty of this, this age of Aquarius that we're moving into is really that we're going to be focusing on mastery of frequency and energy and vibration. And as I was researching this and looking at this, I just was laughing because I'm like, Oh my God, Healy, anyone like what an, an incredible time for Healy to be coming to this planet, because this is really going to be the focus of our next 240 years, raising the collective consciousness of the planet, caring for our fellow man, a big, big focus on, you know, focus off of materialism and ownership and matter and focus onto knowledge and science and huge breakthroughs in quantum physics and mastery of vibration and energy and frequency.